I hurried to the pool, not sure what to expect. Typically, my role in the swim and gym program is confined to the child watch program area, but today I was asked to help out with the swim portion. Due to the last minute request, I was without a bathing suit and would only be able to stand on the edge of the pool. I stood there for 45 minutes. Occasionally, I would interact with a parent or a child, but mostly I just silently observed. My thoughts scattered between my impressions as a child care provider and my experiences as a parent. I reminisced to my own experiences at a YMCA pool swimming with my toddler. My son was still in diapers at the time and could not swim without my support. I don't remember being aware of how dependent my son was on me or how much trust he must have had in me. As a parent, those swim times were simply a time to play and be together. Each parent in the swim engine program exited the locker room and accompanied their child into the shallow pool. The first parent was a dad covered in tattoos. His daughter was blonde and wore aqua-colored plastic glasses. She had the distinct features of a child with Down syndrome. Dad quickly eased himself into the pool water and was immediately followed by his daughter, secure with two floaties tied around her waist. As she bobbed to the surface, her face lit up with an ear-to-ear -ear grin. She splashed and floated. I noticed that I was smiling too, watching her as I was captivated by her joy and confidence in her strong relationship with her dad. Other families filled in the pool. Some parents just floated around with their child and played, and others tried to teach specific swim skills, just like I had done with my own son.